Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So, the drought is arriving in about three days. We have got a pretty good looking colony already and we have tons of plants as well. So, over the next three days, I mean, I don't suppose we're gonna struggle with this drought. Uh, even if it's a long one, I think we have a pretty good system in place. I have set up, I think, most of... Oh, maybe we haven't. What's going here? Um, pretty sure in the last episode, let's have a look, that we, you should be there, and this one here, for some reason, oh, hold on a second, maybe it was a different floodgate, yeah, we, we seem to be fine, I just got a little bit confused over here, so let's see how our automation system is going to, going to work and take care of us, now we do have a lonely fluid dump here as well, which is dumping some water in here, and um, as you can see, the mountain is starting to green up a little bit. It is a slow progress, so um, yeah. Um, one thing we do probably have to do is we'll, we'll have to create some automation here as well because we don't want to flood this whole area, uh, the mountain I mean. And um, yeah, as soon as it's full or too low, then we'll open or close the building, depending on the water level. Now, I have quickly added a couple more beaver boards or breeding boards here as well because we definitely want to have a few spare beavers okay here's another one and um since the mods are now finally working i'm thinking to replace the district center real quick as well let's see what happens hopefully nothing too serious uh, hold on a second and you go over here lovely everyone should get there jobs right the numbers are running low yep perfect okay now this means we shall give them a slightly more direct routes to different places so you're gonna have to be deleted i know we um not to worry we'll have some more showers uh, very soon let's just keep your slightly higher priority there we go we still have 12 beds that means you can go as well Maybe this one too. Okay, this road goes through there and... Ah, uh, okay. So, might want to change a few things around in this place, but... Um, it's okay. Let's just remove all this stuff from here. That's where the road is going to go. And then, um... Yeah, okay. I, I think we have to give you a slightly higher priority because... Otherwise it won't be... Won't get done... Uh, how far are we with the, the builder's hut? That is almost complete. Lovely. Uh, another thing I'd like to build here. So I just want to fill this little gap in here, but also give them a slightly more direct route to get the metal. So uh, yeah, just a ton of little small warehouses. We grab a few platforms from here as well, and then we connect and link you up like so. Okay speed you up a little bit now with the with the logs and all of our production zones so food and water is um is pretty much okay let me just check are you guys set up for automation as well pause and drought oh no this is fine that's okay um yeah what was i saying so our production zones are okay i'd like to um, expand our food just a little bit and to the Sort of farms around this area one of the concerns we have is when the bad tide starts this is all going to go offline i mean we could surround it by the levees but um i feel like it's mm. well it's worth a try everything definitely was flooding in here so until we get some dynamite and create some alternative uh, routes for the water to escape we might just build a slightly higher dam or levy levy wall around this area and um yeah we will we'll do some farms here this side as well and then forestry would most likely be here and i do want to get the um, metal some pots over there oh wow so many things to do so let's start from uh, from this end how are things you guys are do we have be uh, okay so they're constructing this area over here that that's fine uh, we do want to have this ready for the for the next bad tide. Yep, lovely. You guys. Oh, we should probably automate you as well, isn't it? So we'll 
set you up for the for the trout. And when the trout ends, we're gonna drop you. I think 1.5 was the one, and then bad tides. Uh, let's just leave you for uh, for the time being. So that section is now all fixed up. I think the next one we'd like to do. Let me just check the priorities. Was there anything else that was super important? No. I guess you might be fairly important over here. And we can just seal you up like so. Let me give you a slightly higher priority. I just want to make sure we get tons of water in this area. Oh yeah, this is looking very good. And, um, okay, our next one, uh, this sort of like a low priority castle wall, or cliff wall, is coming along quite nicely as well. It's way better that it's a lower priority now, which means they will actually focus on things that are more important. Um, you can probably go, I don't think we're gonna bump out water from here ever. Uh, this one is done. So when the drought starts, we'll, we're gonna bring you up and then low again when it ends. You're set for automation as well, which is fantastic. And we should probably do the same thing around here. So, okay, very quickly. We're gonna clean up this area. You're gonna be platforms and... Yep, I think like so. Drought starts, close it, and then open it again. And then we'll bring the roads across as well. I mean, it is a little further away, so give you a slightly high priority to get these ones done. I don't suppose we'll, we'll get it done before the drought starts, but it's fine. The um, next sort of higher priority, I'd like to start constructing this area as well. So let's give you the highest. We'll do this corner first, and then we're going to take the levees and just uh, surround this whole area with um, with levees. Um, and then I think that's where we are going to extract or bump out some of that bad water. And then we do want to turn it into extract. Yeah, let's do that first. So uh, hold on a second. So logs, yeah, this is a little too far from you, is it? Isn't it? I mean, okay. Let's do a couple of flags over here as well. So one goes right about there. We'll do um, another one somewhere there. Those beavers are uh, pretty pretty quick at their job. The levees are already done, which means we can start taking down a few of those buildings. I hope they can still grab all the all the resources. But yeah, so this section is done. Triple flat gate is in place as well, and this means I will a quick auto save. And here we go. Let me add a slightly higher priority in there. There it is. I, I guess we could cross over from here if we if we want to. What are you guys complaining about? Oh, you don't have... Okay, what we need is just someone to come and construct it over here. And then, um, yeah, so I was just observing the beavers for a little bit before. I'd like to bring the warehouses a little bit closer for the... for where they need to need to eat. I mean, it's not too far. It shouldn't be. But the closer they are to the houses, the quicker they can just sort of, you know, eat, go and do some fun stuff. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I didn't even notice the um, the fire before. It looks pretty, uh, pretty cool, yeah. Okay, we'll have a few more running and operational as soon as we construct the ladder over there. And then, um, yeah, so a bit of food a little bit closer... And um, we'll see. Maybe it helps a little bit. Um, right, so this levy is in place. The drought has started. It is for six days, which is fantastic. Right, so I have had a quick look around the colony. So for the... I think for the drought, our automation is good. Uh, let's see. Yep, everything is closed up. Water seems to be... Well, this one was moving a little bit. This one is emptying out because... We don't have this section complete, but I think it's okay. It's only five, seven days, so our trees should be fine. Let's have a look at these ones dying, but it's in 15 days, so it is not a biggie. Another thing we should probably increase is the amount of haulers we have. Oh yeah, let's put a 
couple more in these ones. Speed up the time as well. Let's try and keep it going and flowing. And uh, this one is egg. What did you say? Eggplant something. All right, we got some eggplant rations over here. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's just set them all up over here. Corn rations as well. And there isn't a lot of storage, but hey, it's um, it's better than nothing. A few berries as well. This big one. What could you be? You could be cassavas, mushrooms, soybeans. Uh, maybe some mango fruits over here, and then we'll do some kohlrabis over here. Okay. So yeah, a few, uh, few more things a little bit closer to us. If this is water, I'd like to uh, set you as Optane. And uh, these are supply ones, uh, so that is lovely as well. Now, <laughs> for during the drought, I would like to pause you. Pause when drought starts. Pause, unpause, yeah. Okay, here we go. You're paused. We'll keep a couple of them running, but I don't really want this whole area to dry up. I want to keep those trees growing over here. And then, fortunately, we're not pumping any water out from this area. Do we have... Yes, we do. So where are you going? Ah, oh, wait, it's evening, so everyone's just having a bit of a... Bit of free time. Okay, that is fine. So no one is doing science. Actually, never mind. There's still a couple of beavers here, which is very good. Uh, <laughs> right, how do we break into this zone? Now, we've been distracted for long enough. There's a, there's a few options. So since we have a few more beavers right now. And... <laughs> I mean, we do need a bit of a safety net in here. I guess if it's more like our backup farm for the time being. Oh, they've done this as well. So this is pretty cool. Let's uh, just remove these ladders from here. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, they will go in place. And uh, it's just a bit of preparation over here for when we get, the, get this tank completed. We'll let the water in. We can still cross over. The reason why we're doing platforms for the time being, I mean, we can always put some bridges here as well. But I was thinking, if in case we get some uh, bad water in here, then our beavers can still remain relatively safe. Okay, so let's say they will cross over. Now we did see there was quite a quite a few bad um, flooding incidents that we that we had before. Okay. Oh, wow. What was that? One of these guys. Um, first thing we have to do is all of those lovely trees do need to go, I'm afraid. Okay. Let's just think about the logistical challenges and bottlenecks. So we shall do a temporary industrial pile, which is set to supply. Okay. You're going to go over there and then we shall have a few lumberjacks. One over here, this one, we'll pull a road through, hold on a second, one more industrial pile that is set to logs and supply. So there we go, I guess it's going to help with the construction over here as well a little bit. Uh, talking about construction, don't we, oh yeah, we probably do need to. Uh, nothing to do in range, well, fine, let's just start cleaning it up a little bit. Okay, that can go, this can go. I want to leave some of the trees over here. I think it's quite quite lovely. And in the future we can we can plant a few more, I guess. Now for the farmhouses. Oh yeah, we were saying uh, where shall we do you? Okay, so let's see. If there is one over here with with a set of stairs. Let's grab a farmhouse. And looking at the range, that's pretty good. So, I guess this village over here is going to be like on uh, on stilts. Just like some fishing villages in some countries by the coastlines. Um, that experience pretty drastic tides. By doing them or building them on platforms, uh, I think we might be able to avoid some future frustrations. 
It seems we've had a few more beavers because we just created a ton of charms over here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, at least four. So we must have had a few beavers grow up. There's 14 kids right now. Oh yeah, probably gonna have to get some more houses for you guys as well. Let's just slam another one here for the time being. Another fire pit. Um, yeah, it's not the most beautiful, but... Um, hold on a second. Where's this water going? I am pretty... Uh, pretty certain. We had tons over here. Is it flowing out from somewhere? You guys aren't open, are you? No, these ones are closed. These ones are closed as well. So where is it going? It definitely looks a lot lower. Ah, interesting. Okay, well, as soon as we get this tank done, I think... Hmm, no. Yeah, it can't have gone this way. Anyways, we're okay. It's only 2.5 days left, so... We shall be okay. Right, a few roads as well. We're going to change you. Go this way, this way. Now we're sort of co connected here. And then... Um, <laughs> okay, you guys are going to be a bit annoying, aren't you? So, um, how many spare beavers do we have right now? Oh, not too many. Okay, are we brave enough to put a few more of these bad boys over here I think we'll try okay let's do a couple more and then um, in the future we should definitely have a few more water pumps as well I mean the water's going down pretty quickly we might want to pause when the drought starts and then uh, let's do unpause when temperate starts just some very basic uh, stuff over here later we'll, we'll turn it into more advanced stuff Okay, so um, let me just clean this area up a little bit and we'll be back as soon as we're a bit more presentable. Alright, so there we go. Drought has ended. Uh, cycle 7 begins and uh, I was just looking at this area here as well. Um, all of those trees are starting to die out and not quite happy obviously with the water levels dropping too low over here. So we might have to create kind of like a different zone. We definitely have, need to move out the water pumping um place for us as well and then i was thinking okay maybe we could keep some more water in this little canal over here so a quick easy solution is let's put a couple of ladders over here a few floodgates as well if the drought starts bring it up and then uh, when the drought ends just drop the gates again and uh, we should be fine okay a similar thing it could be it could be done over here as well so this one and let's say so when the drought starts, we'll bring it to 1, and when it ends, back to 0 over here. Cool. Now, you have dropped the levels down already, which is great. We'll speed up the time. And this zone here as well. I mean, they're doing, I guess, a OK -okay job cleaning it up. Uh, these warehouses are starting to fill. But, I mean... Yeah, we should be able to use most of those trees very very quickly here here we go here comes the water as well everything is greening up yet again and then um something i have been thinking about is how do we turn this into a district i mean i know how to do it but like should we leave this sort of access road as a corridor over here and then um place down let's have a look like a small gate into this zone or even a bigger district crossing. So it's like a small tiny zone, but then it also feels like a kind of like a waste. Maybe we do have to cross through a district and then in the future here's maybe when we have like a central area that connects to all three different districts and yeah, sort of like unites them all. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so the bigger one is 600 science points as well. Well, fortunately, we've been producing some. So, um, yeah, small one is good. 50 only. This one's 600. Okay, so the other thing we wanted to build was uh, not the food factory, but we needed a centrifuge over here. Yeah, just to start making some extract, because that was useful. Uh, I think when they were getting sick. 
Oh yeah, talking about sickness, I don't think there's any medical beds here anymore, is it? Mod bath, motivatorium, wind tunnel, okay, exercise plaza, swimming pool, scratcher. Wait, what's a swimming pool? Oh, that looks a little bit different. Do we not have... Oh, I see, so that's different as well. Uh, scratcher looks pretty awesome. Let's have a quick look. Oh, wow, we should definitely get some of those. Do we have the points? Uh, we can't get everything. And yeah, so let's go back over here. So you were the next thing that we wanted to build. So yeah, let's, let's place you over there. I am assuming we might need this area over here. And we probably need to do some more power as well. Oh yeah, power is another interesting thing that we haven't done a lot in this episode just yet. Gravity batteries, oh yeah, fun stuff. And then engines to 20 metal. We got 36 right now, so that's uh, that's been going pretty nicely. Cool, so we are starting to get some pretty lovely space in here. Water is a thousand. Oh yeah, that was the next thing we wanted to do was let's have some more pumps over here. Uh, I mean, it is a little crowded, but let, let's just have a look. If we were to place the next one, oh yeah, we can flip them as well. Totally forgot about it. And okay, I guess this will work right. It's not the prettiest, but it's fine. We'll have another three pumps running over here because our beaver population has gone up pretty uh, pretty quickly. And it seems like... Mm, yeah, we're going to need another, another house here as well. Okay. There we go. Uh, I do like how this is starting to fill up, so that's, uh, that's awesome. Let's have a quick check as well. Oh dear, they are going to be tired tomorrow because that was a very long way. Fortunately, we have so many construction beavers right now that I don't think it's going to take too long. Hmm. Alright, almost there. I don't think we need them ones just yet. As long as we get the floodgates done, we should be fine. Yep. So, a similar thing like we have done with farms. I think the foresters are going to go on stilts over here. Um, hmm, I don't know if we need to, like, surround this area with some levees and things. Uh, I don't think it was flooding that badly over there. Okay, next one. So, um, production-wise, this is, I'd, I'd like to experiment and see. Uh, let's take the large one. Oh, you are expensive, aren't you? But you could be placed here and give us quite... Quite a bit of power. Small ones, obviously. A row over here. Uh, how much science? Wait, we needed to do something else with the with the points as well, didn't we? So right now we have you running here. Hold on, let's just pause you for a second because we are... Oh yeah, that was the problem, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> we are going to need to make some upgrades over here. Okay, you're going to go this way, you're going to go here, and uh, just a little bit of a higher priority. There we go. Not, not, nothing too crazy. Okay, so road's going to be here, and we'll do... How many pumps can we do here? So, deep, bad water pump. One and two. Lovely. Road over here. To a couple over here might have to change the roads around just a little bit but then again i don't suppose we need more like this is pretty um pretty good already oh yeah high spirit okay so you guys are doing this one already okay so we've let the game uh, run just for a little bit the forest is now cleared out and i think we have enough space for the farm now i have also added this uh, little water tank in here or the medium one and I'm hoping that some of the haulers will uh, soon uh, fill it up because I'd, I'd like to have quite a bit of water here before we uh, set it as a new new district. So, couple final things. Let's just remove a few of those roads as well. Uh, we don't really want them to be direct and boring. So, yeah, let's just 
bring it right about here. We can put a few decorations in front of those building, buildings as well. I think overall, yeah, it's uh, looking okay. Except over here, would like to change this a little bit as well. All right, there we go. And maybe this one as well. Oh, no, this one's a little bit trickier, but um, yeah, this might work. What happens if we... Oh, no, we would have to... Yeah, no, this is not a good solution, so that's fine. At least they're not so uh, straight and boring anymore. Now, the next thing we do want to do in here, I was going to put some, uh, some fences. Uh, science points we have. However, it seems we can't do the log fences anymore. There's only the blank ones or the metal ones. So, um, yeah. Okay, so um, let's put up, unlock you. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks too nice for a, for a farming area. However, let's, uh, let's give it a try. So, I guess this road over here is, is also for, I guess, decoration purposes. And then we can pull you through through this way. Hold on a second. We've got a tree over here. Yep. And then, um, hmm, maybe this one here as well. Okay. A few of those trees. We're gonna leave them, and they will uh, they will start growing in this area. Um, okay. So um, yeah, I think in the next episode we'll put a food production area up on the hill, and uh, down below we shall do. I don't really know how exactly we want to do this, but um, let's just pull, uh, hold on a second, there's going to be a road from here, isn't it? Unless it's going to climb up and then join from there, but for the time being, there might be another fence from this side. Um, okay, so unlock these farms. Here we go, a couple of peavers in, let's just speed up the time as well, the trout is going to arrive very shortly. Oh yeah, those uh, construction beavers are doing the fences already, which is lovely. Okay, uh, next one's going to be some cassavas. Uh, that's quite a big feel. Let's place you. Oh yeah, that's uh, definitely looking lovely. And then soybeans can go over here. Now, question is, should we enclose this area just like so? I mean, we might as well, right? Yeah, and then all these beavers can look after the farms over here. Okay, so that's quite lovely. We can uh, improve this area and put some more decorations down a little bit later as well. The drought has finally arrived. Are you a little bit empty? No, you're not. Let's just do a quick check. Uh, that water seems to be fine. There isn't a ton of water here, but we're holding a little bit, so that's okay. Uh, bad water is being pumped out as well into the container, which is fantastic. And then this zone is ha or has been growing pretty uh, pretty nicely too. Our uh, next job probably is to uh, build a bit of a dam and a reservoir here. So that way when the drought starts, we can still release some water in here. Because right now, as you can see, it seems we're not closing these floodgates in... Uh, we're closing them a bit too late, it seems. That's going to be it for this episode. Our new farming area is looking lovely. It's uh, it's pretty much ready. It's functional. We can just do a few more decoration buildings in here in the future. And then, yeah, it's going to act as our backup farm. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.